Canada groups have just started meeting up today, and they are doing more than the 1776 Restoration Movement has done this entire time, are equal in size, if not larger, and appear to be way more well-planned. This is a movement that Santa wishes he had. The 1776 Restoration Movement has accomplished going around the Beltway, the very thing that they got mad at the People's Convoy for only doing. So what do I have here? Well, here's just a slight amount of information about what's going on in Canada. Way more people out there are doing way better coverage. I just want to give an overview so you can see how impotent and pathetic the 1776 Restoration Movement is in comparison. About an hour ago, an update from a stream of one of the convoys to Renfrew that stopped in Calvar, about 20, 25 vehicles. This is one of the convoys. One single of the convoys coming, 20 to 25 people. They're already matching the 1776 Restoration Movement size after, what, a month? As of note, right beside him, the campground is Ottawa Convoy Trucker, who was arrested and ended up on Tucker Carlson. So they have more clout, people with bigger clout than anyone at the 1776 Restoration Movement already. Queen of McCaff, a pickup truck with Alberta uh, plates towing a camper, just got turned away by police. When they tried to go on a street that was closed, for folks who don't know, Ottawa, this is two blocks from Parliament. They've already tried to get within two blocks of Parliament. They failed, but that's far more than the 1776 Restoration Movement has even attempted. By law warning, a guy with a power speaker will be zero tolerance for electronic amplification. So here they are, on the streets again, doing far more than the 1776 Restoration Movement has done all this time. A few protesters on Parliament Hill, but already a big police and bylaw presence. So they have a meeting here. They like people here. They had a table. The table was removed earlier. I saw that. I don't think I have a picture of that. But they're already protesting. They are doing more than the 1776 Restoration Movement has accomplished. Again, they are able to release information on what they're doing every single day. And I guarantee that it will get far more press coverage than anything the 1776 Restoration Movement has tried to do so far. And the police actually care. I would not be shocked if the police do not make a convoy-specific statement at all for the 1776 Restoration Movement going into D.C., if they even go into D.C. on the 4th, because there's nothing, there's nothing there. Santa loves to repeat the phrase, can't do it in one day. So many times I've heard him say this. You, can't, you gotta have time. You can't do it in one day. This is day one for the movement in Canada. The 1776 Restoration Movement has went around in a circle, and the only improvement they made over the People's Convoy is that they peed in a toilet instead of their pants.